Hello everybody, welcome to my video blog. Today we're going to talk about whether what happened in 2012 can happen again, whether our currency, the euro, is solid enough to withstand future crises. This week we had the last appearance of Mario Draghi in front of the um, Economic Committee of the European Parliament and I thanked him for his work in rescuing the euro. I told him, however, Mr. Draghi, you must understand no European citizen likes having a currency that needs rescuing. He smiled. The question is whether the euro will need rescuing in the future. What happened in 2012? Why did it need Draghi's famous three words, whatever it takes, to stop a crisis that threatened its survival? The ECB is ready to do whatever it takes to preserve the euro. To understand this, you have to understand one key problem that we faced, which was the doom loop between the sovereigns and the financial systems. When the financial system of a particular country was at risk, it needed, potentially, its depositors needing, needed rescuing by the sovereign, by the state. Not by all of the European countries, by that state. Thus, a financial system that becomes unstable uh, through that link of deposit insurance puts at risk the solvency of the state. In turn, when the state, when there are doubts about the state solvency, the balance sheets of the banks become lower quality, not just because of their own problems, but because they have bonds of that particular state. They have bonds of their own state in their balance sheets. And those bonds become lower quality when the state is in trouble. Moreover, the states have, in a crisis, less revenue and have to face bigger expenditures. For example, because of the unemployment insurance in Spain, that was three points of GDP that caused big deficits. So the crisis can start in the financial system, like in Spain or in Ireland, where the real estate bubble collapse made the financial system be less solid and then have contagion towards the state. Or it can start in the state, like in Greece and in Portugal, and then be passed on to a financial system. Um, why does this put at risk the whole, this, this loop when it gets going, puts at risk the whole survival of the euro? Well, because what the market thinks is these states that face these huge debts are going to have the temptation to get out of the euro and pay these debts in paper. They just, like Varoufakis proposed in Greece, get out of the euro, print lots of drachma and pay all these creditors in drachma, which is printable by that state, so the whole thing is over in exchange for a lot of hyperinflation, a lot of financial disruption. So that's a temptation that they could have and that was stopped by Mario Draghi saying, I'll do whatever it takes, believe me it will be enough, and subsequently going into the sovereign bond market and buying them himself, the European Central Bank, the bonds of the different states. Have we done enough to make sure this never happens again? There are three things, if you look at the loop, there are three things that seem evident that are necessary. A common deposit insurance, so that the upper link disappears. A common Eurozone asset, so that the banks have all their bonds uh, holdings are not of one country, but uh, of the whole Eurozone. And some form of fiscal solidarity, so that the states don't face this, this crisis on their own, in the form of, for example, a European unemployment insurance. Europe has made huge progress since the crisis. We have the germ of a banking union with a common supervisor, a common resolution mechanism. We have advanced in um, many other dimensions. But on those three questions, we haven't really advanced. The deposit insurance, there was a proposal for the Commission, but it's now languishing in Parliament. Um, we need to reactivate that. Um, the Eurozone asset, that one was put in place by the Commission taking as the basis a proposal that a group economist, of economists, of which I was part in 2011 and 2012, uh, made. It's called SBBS, we call it SBS, the Sovereign Bond Back Securities. That proposal of the Commission passed Parliament, but it's being held up by the states, by the countries. Why? Well, the countries like having banks to whom they can force to take their own debt. If the Italian treasury is in trouble, picks up the phone, calls the Italian banks and says, buy Italian bonds. If that possibility is no longer there, they, they dislike not having that possibility. And third, 
some form of fiscal solidarity, the new Commission, the new President of the Commission has proposed a European unemployment reinsurance. So those three proposals are on the table, we need to push them, they are still not there. From Renew Europe and from Ciudadanos, we will be pushing forward on these proposals, hopefully um, over the next five years we will do everything necessary so that the euro never ever has a crisis again. Thank you.